I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 BMW 5 Series. It is all new for this year. It is fully redesigned both inside and out. It's got a new drive line. It's longer, it's taller, it's wider, and it has all of the new technology inside, new safety features, and quite a bit more. This vehicle is running for North American Car of the Year as well as World Car of the Year. So I'm on both juries, so we have to do a deep dive into this, and we'd like you to join us. We're going to take a closer look at this vehicle and show you some of the details that you'll want to know about. The first thing you're going to note is the new dynamic design elements and the new exterior color options. I really like this blue. It's super deep. It's almost black. Some of the new extended palette colors are really impressive. It's also available with the M Sport package, which includes M wheels, shadow line exterior trim, M Sport brakes, and M Sport steering wheel. You can also get the kidney beans illuminated, which I think is pretty cool. You'll also note the new BMW LED lights that are adaptive really crystal clear and makes for better night vision. The 19 inch alloy wheels are standard. Our test vehicle rides on all season continental tires and it has blue BMW M brakes. There is also the optional 21 inch wheels that has additional other designs available. I do like this wheel, it's called BMW Individual, but there are other wheel choices as well. The new BMW 5 Series is 3.4 inches longer, 1.3 inches wider and 1.4 inches taller. That increases the wheelbase by 0.8 or almost one inch, which improves the legroom for the second row. Coming around to the back of the 530i is it's a little bit more updated. You've got your dual exhaust, really nice and super clean. And they took away some of the heavier lines to make it more modern and sporty. Let's take a quick look at the backup camera because I'm really big on backup cameras clarity. And this is nice and crystal clear. You can choose the direction that you want. It'll also have a park assist as an option in case you're not so good at backing up. One of the biggest changes for the 5 Series is this curved, long display. Really nice is what you're seeing in the higher trim levels, including the X5 and the XM. This new screen is curved toward the driver. It's very driver focused. However, the software inside is slightly different. You've got your My Drive modes, beautiful screen here as well. And you can go to different media if you wish, which includes AM radio, because I'm a big fan of AM radio navigation, your telephone, and of course, all of the iDrive 8 setups are here. And the home screen allows you to choose the information that you want. Maybe you want to change everything. All your information is here. Your climate controls are here. If you want to go into the settings, it's all right. There's a lot. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This includes the Bowers and Wilkins audio system. You can adjust your ambient lighting. Everything is here. Your seating comfort, ventilated seats, everything. I could go on and on and on because there's quite a bit. Further down, it's nice and clean, beautiful materials. And this is for your ventilation right here. And then you've got wireless uh, charging as well as two cup holders and two USB-C charge ports, which is really nice. Further back, it is nice and clean and simple. This is the iDrive 8. This is your shifter right here, really simple. Your My Modes button is here if you wish to change your personality and your ride height. Volume setting is here, really nice knurled knob, by the way, I think they did a nice job with the detail on that. And press this button and inside you've got a split center console with more charging and it's lit. But overall, this is just a beautiful interior. I mean, the soft materials, the nice thick steering wheel. And of course, this has got the M trim level. So it's got all the nice things and you can change those modes. If you've driven a BMW before, you're very comfortable with this as well as the paddle shifters. Really nice, really clean and all updated for 2024. When it comes to the seats inside the 5 Series, there are some improvements, starting with these beautiful materials that are leather, or you can get leather-like. Love the design as well. And of course, you've got your lumbar seating and lots of adjustments. Heated and ventilated are optional. You're not losing anything on the passenger side. Seats are the same with the same comfortable seating se settings as well as thigh support, which I think is a massive plus. And of course, lumbar. Going into the second row, you've got seating for two child safety seats and seating for three adults. Again, I like this pattern that is continued throughout, really classy, and I love this color combination with the dark blue and the ivory. Behind both driver and passenger seat are entertainment screens that are optional, as well as charge ports on the back of the seat. There is no storage pockets behind either driver or the passenger seat. That means you'll have storage in the doors. 
behind the center console, you've got ventilation, two charge ports, and some additional storage here. Storage in the doors includes a pocket for some small items, as well as that Bowers and Wilkins audio system, which is really pretty. I do like that. Folding down that center armrest, you do have two cup holders available right here, or it just folds away. For standard, that smart safety features, which includes available hands-free driving, is standard. Standard active blind spot detection, standard lane departure warning, and available highway assist. Quite a few features, but getting that new iDrive 8.5 operating system, that curved display, I think really is a massive improvement. Again, you've got optional digital content that you can add on, video streaming. For the kids in the back, you've got the entertainment. You've got touchscreen controls, available full glass sky lounge roof panels, which would be much more than just a glass roof, plus your MyDrive modes of personal, efficient, or sport. Under the hood of the 5 Series is an all-new 2.0-liter twin-turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine paired with a 48-volt mild hybrid architecture. That's on all the 530i and 530x drive vehicles. With 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, that increases 7 horsepower from the previous generation and 38 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 time, 5.9 seconds, and that's in the rear-wheel drive 530i. Fuel economy, 27 miles to the gallon in the city. 35 on the highway, and the X-Drive is exactly the same. The top trim level 540i X-Drive is a refreshed 3-liter turbocharged inline six-cylinder engine with 375 horsepower, a 40-horsepower increase, and the torque is up to 384 pound-feet of torque. That boasts 398 pound-feet of torque with that mild hybrid architecture. Zero to 60 time is 4.5 seconds. There's also an all-electric i5 e drive 40 and an i5 m60 which includes a dual all-wheel drive motor setup that has a lot more horsepower of 593 horsepower 586 pound feet of torque zero to 60 time on that i5 is 3.7 seconds and the range is 256 miles Inside the 530i, it is all new. It is lower, it is wider, it is longer. There are a lot of massive changes for this vehicle. But one of the positive things about this is it gives you a nice ride, just a really nice, softer ride than in the past. The BMW 5 Series is running for all the awards, the World Car of the Year, North American Car Truck of the Year, and it really has a lot to offer. And this is a very highly competitive set. Cars are still very popular, though a lot of people think that they're not because SUVs have taken over. BMW is a driver's machine. It's always been about performance driving experience and buying this vehicle and getting delivery at the performance driving school is a really smart choice. You'll get to see what the vehicle is capable of. And of course, there are other trim levels, including that M series, but this is this is the entry level vehicle. It is the 530i and it is still a really popular vehicle. As far as performance, there are a lot of features. There are also different drive modes that you can choose a personal, sport, efficient, expressive, relax, and digital art. All of these can be customized. And I think that's nice. You get to drive a vehicle that you really will enjoy driving. And you can pick out the personality that you want each day. I do like the head-up display and it's crystal clear. It's easy to read whether you're wearing polarized sunglasses or not. And I think that's a huge factor as well. And in addition, just the flat bottom steering wheel giving you that sportier feel, but still making it easy to get in or out of the car. The seats are super comfortable as we talked about when we covered seats, both the front and the rear. It's got a nice tight turning radius, which I do like. That's really important, especially when you're trying to make a U-turn or change the direction for whatever reason. This is really easy to drive. Zero to 60 is 5.9 seconds in our test vehicle. Of course, you go to the higher trim levels with more performance, and it'll get even faster. That is a nice tight turning radius, let me tell you and really important. When it comes to cargo space for the 530, there is 18.4 cubic feet of storage and it splits 40-20-40 
for the back seats, which gives you some additional room. The all new 2024 BMW 5 Series has a ton of great improvements. Pricing starts at $57,000. Of course, you can go up to the X Drive, which will cost more. You can go into the M Series, or you can purchase the i5, which is the all electric version, which we'll be reviewing separately. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this vehicle. I didn't really find any negatives. I love the new technology and you can get used to it really quickly, especially if you own a BMW currently. There are some competitors in this category from Lexus and of course, Mercedes and Audi, but overall, I'm really impressed with what they're offering. And remember, if you do purchase a 5 Series, you can take delivery at the Spartansburg location, get a factory tour, as well as learning to drive this vehicle on their performance driving school, which, could be pretty cool. If you have any additional questions, you can put them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with your friends. If you wanna support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down in the description with my website, social media, the book, and the podcast. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.